Hello, it's Jonathan from Jopiku, and um, I'm bringing you a quick tutorial today um, for Magento 2. Um, this is the first in a series. Uh, I'm planning to do several each week going forwards, uh, and this is something that I've done for lots of clients in the past, um, privately and individually, um, but I thought it might be useful for anyone who's working with Magento 2. Uh, who isn't necessarily an expert or just needs a reference point um, to um, just show some of the things that you might want to do in Magento. Uh, and I work with Magento every day, so there's always um, always things that need to be uh, need to be done. Sometimes you can remember how to do them. Sometimes you've got to refresh your memory, and sometimes you just have no idea where to start. So these um, videos are really just meant to help with that and uh, if you happen to search for uh, certain words on on uh, YouTube or, or Google or whatever uh, and these tutorials come up then it might just prompt you in uh, in a certain direction to help you solve a problem so okay so this first one is um, a website um, back office URL um, for Magento by default is forward slash admin and obviously you don't want to leave it at that um, when you go live with a website because it leaves you open to hacking attempts because anyone who wants to try to log into your back office, if they try slash admin and that takes them to a screen like this, then they're already halfway towards um, getting into your site. So if you can um, use a URL that is more obscure than that, then the chances are they won't even find where your login page is. And then uh, they'll move on to uh, somewhere, somewhere else where they can find where the login page is. So um, the first thing to do, if I just show you in, um, let me just show you in here. Um, there is a setting, and um, it's obviously quite tempting just to say, well, why don't we just use this setting in here um, to, to change the admin URL. Um, and I think it's this bit here, admin base URL. Now. In the past, I've tried to use this because it looks so obvious, doesn't it? You say, well, yes, I'll have a, a custom admin URL, and then I'll change it. And it's saying here you can put, um, you know, whatever you like here. So it's suggesting your domain slash Magento. Um, so it might be, um, so it might be my domain. So let's do HTTP example.com and then at the moment it's admin but I might want to call it um you know secret admin or something like that just to, for argument's sake so you'd have thought that would um that would do it and it may even do it now in the later versions of magento but certainly every time I've tried it it's messed up uh, and it's basically meant you can't get back into your back office easily you've got to go and hack the database to get back to the URL that you had before and then you go back to doing the method that I'm just about to show you. So, so I wouldn't suggest you do that unless you know, unless you want to experiment with it. Um, but there's a much easier way, and that is like this: if you go and SSH into the um, into the instance where you're running the server. Um, so in this case, it's on Google Google Cloud Platform, but it might be on Amazon. You might have a dedicated server. You might be running it locally. But basically, if you get to the root um, of where your Magento installation is, I'll be there shortly. So um, it's going to become root. It's maybe an argument for saying don't do it as root, but I'm just for that, for this purpose, I'm just going to do that because it makes it easier. So let's have a quick look. So this is the Magento folder. And so you'll see the standard folders, etc., like app, bin, etc. Now, if you go into app and then etc, in here we have um, the emv.php file. And if you go into that, so what I would typically do here is maybe make a copy of it, just in case anything goes wrong, um, and then edit it with an editor. And then you can see immediately at the top, um, so what this will normally say in the default Magento when you've just installed it is admin like that. So all you need to do, if we want to change that to, um, let's just change it to my name for, for argument's sake. 
just to show how it works. That's all you need to do. If you save that now, and then we go to the, um, I'm just gonna go into this other window here. So we now go to um, the web address, and then forward slash, so let's try admin, and we just get a broken link. Um, but if we try our new URL, we still don't get there. Now, so this is another thing in Magento that you'll often have to do. You will have to flush the cache. So let's just go back into the SSH instance and let's flush the cache. So now then, um, you'll have to do whatever you normally do um, to run a Magento command. Um, I think for me it's been Magento CLI cache flush. Try that. Yeah. Okay, so that's flushed the cache. So now let's go back to the um, browser. And it's looking promising because it's loading. And now you can see in the URL it does say. Um, Jonathan, which is correct. So that means that uh, you'd have to know that to know to get to this page. If you just put in admin there, then you'll find um, that it just takes you to a 404 page, which is good. So, but if you put the actual new URL in there, it takes you to the page. And then you should be able to log in exactly as you did before. Type the wrong password. Now, again, this is something that happens quite often in certainly in Chrome. It hangs on to old information. Um, so sometimes what you have to do in this case is to go and clear the site data, clear the storage on here. It's really painful. Um, and sometimes you've got to even clear your cookies uh, when you've made a change like this. Let's just see. We'll reload the page. All right, so now it's not happy at all. Ah, it's back now. I'm going to type it carefully. And we're in. So you've learned a few things there. Um, number one, um, <laughs> working with Magento is, is messy. Uh, and even though I do this every day, I still have to do things like that, clearing storage, clearing the cache. Um, and, um, you know, you make mistakes and you have to do things over and over again. But anyway, um, that shows um, that it does actually work. Uh, you have got to clear caches and cookies and things like that sometimes. Um, but that basically works. And so I'm going to sign off now on this particular tutorial. Um, the future ones will maybe be more slick when I get more used to giving them. And um, if you like the channel, then uh, please subscribe. Um, and if you've got any comments, please leave them uh, below on YouTube. And um, I look forward to bringing you more um, uh, tutorials like this. And I look forward to hearing of your thoughts and your ideas. And if there's anything you see that I'm doing maybe uh, not in the best way, by all means put a comment in there and uh, I'll be happy to update the tutorials and uh, I'll be happy to learn from, uh, from anyone else working with Magento. Okay, so um, I'll sign off for now and I'll see you again in the future. Okay, thanks, bye.